right, love and light, Gemini, this is going to be your weekly love reading. For some of y'all, this is about love. And some of you all, this is about a friendship, okay? Or, a, you know, a group of friends or some people, group of friends, could be three or more, could be two or more, um, depends, right? But there's, there's a, either a love connection. I'm just going to say this. Somebody is pissed. They're upset that you've moved on with your life that you've disconnected from them, that you have stopped communicating with them. This person or these people see you as a threat. They see you as competition. And I don't even know if you know that this is really comp this if th that this was a competition. These people or this person, they actually look up to you. They see you as somebody who's very um, wise, somebody who's experienced, somebody who has a sensible thought process, logical thought process. You're somebody here who gives back to your friends, your family member. You're very nurturing. You're very caring. You may be, uh, work, you might work with children. Some of you all may own a daycare here. That's not for everybody. Or like you're a very nurturing parent, whether you're male or female. Like you just genuinely care for people in general. And I feel like this person or these people, right? Because some of y'all, like I said, it's going to be <laughs> about a lover because I'm the Two of Cups energy is here on the bottom of the deck. For some of you, this could be a, a mother figure, a, a father figure with this Empress in reverse here, somebody that you had kids, kids with that you moved on from. For some of you guys, there's a, a divine feminine or a group of feminines who are jealous because they see you as a threat or as competition because you're not speaking to them anymore. I feel like this person or this group of people are speaking recklessly about you on the internet or somewhere on like a platform somewhere here because they really want some attention with the six of wands here in reverse. It's like this group of people, three of cups, six of wands in reverse, um, with the knight of wands in reverse, do they're going to do anything for clout. <laughs> it's weird as shit. Okay. These people are going to do anything for clout here. Three of cups, six of wands in reverse. This, I feel like these are people who do anything for attention for the wrong reasons. Okay. For the very wrong reasons here. And the reason why I say something here, somebody could be talking, spreading gossip, lies, rumors, or like, I don't know, commenting and with negative, they have negative comments. Somebody always has something to say here. The wheel in reverse is here. That's, that's, I mean, I'm sorry, the world in reverse is here. These people don't want you to move on from them, okay? You could be a Leo, an Aquarius, a Scorpio, okay, or a Taurus, or you could be dealing with any of these signs. We also have fire energy out here, very strong fire energy and uh, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy out here. These people are crazy, like watching you somewhere online, okay? Or they're, they, or this is giving like, they have a group chat where they talk about you, like... If this is a masculine or a feminine that you were in a connection with, they're talking about you nonstop in the group chat. If this is a friend group, they're talking about you nonstop in the group chat. And it's not a good look. And the only reason they're talking about you, the reason I say that here is because psychopath energy is here. <laughs> You're not even talking to this person. Like you've created some form of distance here with this distance energy here. You know, competition. This could be somebody that I feel like you were in a friend group with or somebody at one point you consider these people your friends, male or female, doesn't matter here. You consider these people to be your friends and they're not your friends or you thought they were at one point, but they're, these people are so concerned with whatever it is that you do on a daily basis is ridiculous. They can't even breathe brush their teeth, wash their face without worrying about whatever it is you've got going on. And you know why? These people are bitter. They're mad. They're upset. I'm telling you, they're really seriously upset because you've moved on in this three of wands energy. Okay, somebody here may have traveled and went somewhere. Now, I do believe that this is cutting ties, right? You're not looking in the rearview mirror is what I can see here with this three of wands energy and this ship energy here. It's almost like your life is moving forward, progressing forward. You're moving forward. 
you're moving on from certain things from the past and like these people just really don't like it and low key they're sitting back suffering in silence because they feel some kind of way they feel some kind of way that you have something i don't know it's like you i don't it's like giving like maybe these people or this person they never attempted to accomplish their dreams maybe they never attempted to do the things that you you jumped out on a ledge and a limb and to take a risk to do but they didn't have the courage to do so and that's okay and i'm not making fun of anybody but because maybe they just haven't gotten to that point where they're ready to take a leap of faith and they're ready to believe in themselves so much so to get out of their comfort zone and just push forward some people get there and some people don't. We're all on a different timeline. So I'm not trying to like beat anybody up here. But this is just the energy that it is giving. It's like these these people or this person, they're banging their heads and they're not getting anywhere. And they're like, how is the collective able to do this? How is the collective getting so much attention? So it's like these people are going to say anything or throw anything at the wall and seize it. And they want to see if it sticks, if people will believe them because they're not getting the, the attention that they want you're getting attention but i believe it's for the right reasons because you're clearly not bothered by these people i feel like your life is fine you have what you need you're doing well a lot of you guys are traveling you're having an amazing life right now and these people feel disconnected from their purpose they don't know what it is that they want to do in their life but the thing is it's like that you've got to be able to distinguish okay what do i want to do with my purpose versus well, this person is like living and not living. They're living in their purpose. But what about mine? It's like, what do they don't? What do they have that I don't have? But that's not the, the, the situation here. That's not the case. You know, we all arrive at different times. I feel like these these people or this person in particular, whether it was a relationship or a friendship, they just haven't figured out whatever it is. And these people really are upset with you because low key they feel like the victim they feel like you, you were the one that abandoned them these people were very codependent on your energy okay i feel like as long as you were around and you were vibing like them everything was fine but as soon as you distanced yourself and you realize what type of energy you were dealing with here and you grew and you grew out of that energy here you you cut it you separated yourself all right so let's see show me more here clarify this world card in reverse so these people can't move on you know these people are stuck in karmic cycles you know there's some change that needs to happen. These people are not satisfied with their own life. Judgment is being called upon these people for talking bad about you. Okay? For speaking ill upon your name. Scorpio energy. Okay? They got some healing they need to do here. That's why they're still stuck in this karmic cycle. They have not gotten to the point where... They have they just haven't spiritually ascended, they're not ready. You've already done the awakening, the inner work, the inner healing, you've already done this assessment. But it's like these people want us want you to stay stuck where they are, and that's not fair to you. That's just not fair to you. Show me this Knight of Wands in reverse, yeah, gossiping, like I said, gossiping just ill like these are people like i said if if you if this resonates for you and you found your purpose or you have some inkling of a direction in your life where you're headed or you know where you want to be even if you haven't fully blossomed into that energy yet or you haven't seen the full um abundance and, and rewards from that yet these people are still feeling some kind of way about that because they know where you're headed they saw your worth before you saw your worth and these people i feel like were 
talking long before you even got to that energy. They knew where you were headed. But because you continue to push forward and do the work here, and now these people are speaking ill will upon you. They don't have anything good to say. You know, this is giving an energy of like, these people lack, they lack the passion. They they lack the drive. But you didn't you didn't stop. You didn't give up. It's like they always start something. They these people always have a bright a bright idea, a great idea, or a business idea, but they were never able to finish it, to put the work forward. And as soon as you were able to focus and you kept your your you kept your eye on the prize ahead of you, and you didn't worry about what was going on over here, you didn't worry about what's going on behind you or over there. Like, then these people started feeling some kind of way about it. And now they want to sit back and gossip and talk about you. I really don't like this. I don't, yeah, I don't like this energy too much. So it's giving me a group of people sitting around just gossiping and talking about you. Show me this three of cups. Three of swords. I'm telling you, these group of people, they don't like it. That you are, they are, uh, these people said some really mean, spiteful things about you because you moved on with your life and you've healed. Show me the six of wands in reverse. Gossip. For some of y'all, this gossip could be behind a man. Look at this. Some of y'all, this gossip can be an emperor here. I mean, I'm sorry, an Aries. Excuse me. With It's page of swords in reverse, honey. The page of wands here in reverse. For some of y'all, this could be a Sagittarius. This could be a, a, an air sign here, a Gemini, Libra, or an Aquarius. And then we have the Queen of Cups out here or a Pisces. There are multiple people here. Jealous. These people are unstable. Or these people are saying, you're unstable. You know, if you have a business, you know, um, <laughs> wow. You know, these people were unsupportive. They didn't even support you when you needed these people to support you. Instead of them supporting you, you know what I feel like they did? They just talked about you and gossiped about you because they didn't want to see you do better. This is awful. Yeah, there goes that foresight. I feel like you knew this, two of wands. I'm telling you, that's you moving towards this three of wands energy here. See, this is the thing. I feel like folks, okay, I'm just going to say this because this is given, somebody here could be a Sagittarius here too, uh, if I didn't say that already. It's like people are feel like you didn't help them when they needed the help or you were supposed to help somebody get off of their feet. Yeah, six of, six of uh, pentacles. These people wanted you to help them with their own personal projects, but you decided to help yourself. You decided to help yourself to start energy in the tool, tool of wands. You started planning your own future. You started planning your own purpose. And it's like they got upset with you. Show me more here. Show me this um, emperor energy here. King of Cups. Okay, show me this emperor here. The lovers. Could be a Gemini or a water sign here. What about this emperor? There's an emperor here that's attached to one of these females. That's the empress in reverse. Either they could have chosen an empress in reverse here. And this empress in reverse could be part of this other group. Because I feel like there are multiple feminines um, or multiple people. That's so crazy. Yeah, this is you. Look at this energy. You are in this energy of this nine of pentacles and this ace of pentacles. Because you're doing the work. You stay disciplined. And people are over here fighting in this drama or conflict over because, because you are in this energy. That's what this page of swords is. I bet you. Clarify this page of swords energy, please. So this masculine could have chose somebody else. And this feminine is like has something to do with this group of people. Show me this page of wands. I mean, this page of swords in reverse. 
I'm telling you, somebody's gossiping about what you got going on, where your money's going to, what you're spending your money on, why you didn't help them. You you help everybody else. I feel like this is a bunch of negative bitches. I, I don't never say this on this channel, but this is so negative. I don't like it. Clarify the page of swords in reverse, please. King of Wands. I'm telling you, a lot of y'all, a lot of y'all that's behind a man. It's behind a man. It's behind a man I, who really wasn't faithful to anybody, mind you, because the emperor came out here attached to a, a empress in reverse. Now this king of wands, this six of pentacles is clarified with this king of wands. Uh, show me this page of wands, page of swords, king of wands. And six of pentacles, please. King of wands. Yeah, I'm telling you, this this King of Wands was juggling, had multiple people here. I feel like at one point, this King of Wands made a choice. They were tired of juggling here. For a lot of y'all, maybe they chose, a King of Wands could have chose you. Um, or the reason why their business didn't thrive, or their idea didn't thrive, or their life is not thriving because they haven't focused and put in the discipline in the work. But you did. It's a little unstable energy here. Clarify this Queen of Cups in reverse. Yeah, the who? Ooh, <sighs> Queen of Cups and the um High Priestess in reverse. I'm gonna say this: you could be dealing with a water sign. One of these people could be a Pisces or a Cancer or a Scorpio. There, another reason why here this is not working is because somebody here just makes unhealthy choices. They don't put in enough work and they don't trust their intuition they don't follow the guidance that's given to them from spirit somebody here is very immature they don't follow their heart they don't follow their intuition they don't trust their intuition it's like you're not ready clarify this queen of cups in reverse with the high priestess Child, clarify this Queen of Cups with the High Priestess. I feel like somebody wanted you to be stuck and not trusting your intuition here. They wanted you to be stuck and not into your in, in your intuition here, but I feel like you are in your intuition, and you, yeah, they did. They wanted you to be in this energy, this confused state of mind. Could be dealing with a Virgo. Could be dealing with a Taurus, a Gemini, an Aries, a Scorpio, or a fixed sign here. A Leo. Let's see. Clarify this Hermit in reverse. Yeah, they wanted you fucking stuck and stagnant. They wanted you stuck and stagnant because they don't want to see you do better. They wanted you... <laughs> Ooh, thank you, Holy Spirit. Cleanse your energy. Cleanse your space. These are people who are self-absorbed. They need to grow up. Grow up. Okay? Up. Show me this King of Wands. Who is this King of Wands? Let's see who these people are. Show me this King of Wands. This is somebody here who, I'm telling you, had more than one person. This could have been somebody here that you were at one point. You had a close relationship with this person. Um, the two of you got along very well here. Um, this is definitely somebody you could have been intimate with. Show me this King of Wands. This could have been someone you trusted at one point here. But you got clarity that all this person wanted. Yeah, you had some form of clarity. The truth was revealed to you about this masculine. They were just in this King of Wands energy, you guys. It was just about a thrill. It was a continuous cycle. This King of Wands is stuck in this world in reverse energy also. I do believe that they are associated with this other group of people. It's not just this King of Wands out here. This King of Wands continues to make bad decision after bad decision. I feel like these people, these other people in this group, they continue to make bad decision after, they're not learning the lesson, but they wanted you to be stuck. And they're like, how did the collective get there? 
Clarify this emperor, please. Clarify this emperor. <sighs> Clarify the emperor. <sighs> this emperor is delusional. Clarify this emperor energy. Yeah, this emperor is holding on to you. They were not, they're still stuck in this karmic energy. They're, this emperor and this king of wands are the same person. Okay, so this emperor is still concerned and this king of wands is still concerned about you. But this is the person who's stuck in their own toxic ways. They're, they, they're not willing to change and grow. Um, they're stuck in the same old, same old, whether it's sex addiction, um, you know, sleeping with multiple people, whatever it is. This person is with somebody who is jealous too, almost like a feminine energy. They're a little envious and resentful, um, and they're discontent with their own life. If you can see this, they're discontent with their own life, but all they do is think about you, which is crazy. This is somebody here who procrastinates. Like I said, this person procrastinates. That's why their life is where it is. They wanted you to be in this dead end, stagnant energy like they're in. So this is giving, how dare you grow up? And heal and do better and, and move on and think you're better than somebody else. Show me this Empress in reverse. Who is this Empress in reverse? <clears throat> Show me this Empress in reverse. I feel like no matter, okay, I'm gonna tell you about this Empress. This Empress in reverse is somebody here who has tried to birth something new, try to start a business, try to do something over and over and over again, and it never works. And I'm going to tell you this, the reason why nothing is never birthed, because the Empress in reverse is somebody who's infertile, right? No new beginnings. This is somebody who can't get something off the ground because they're not stable. This person has done everything they can to get somewhere and do something, but this person just doesn't have, they just don't have it right now. Like, I don't, this person may have made a bad investment in something here and it's like whatever this person has tried to get off of the ground it has not worked okay show me this empress in reverse i feel like this is somebody who's also very sneaky they hide things from other people they hide important details from people this person yeah death energy this this empress there is no growing we have growth and endurance energy here and growth and transformation. What, what's dead is dead. This person, there is no growth with this person, okay? Um, where's that other person we had out here? Do we have? Show me the... Um, I want the Three of Cups energy. Show me Three of Cups energy. You could be a Cancer. Clarify Three of Cups. Yeah, these is people in this Three of Swords energy like we saw earlier. These people are toxic. I feel like they were not your friend. These people talk really crazy about you. Clarify this Three of Cups. Yeah, they sit around and talk about you. They congregate with each other, coffee cup. They get together, have dinner, have lunch, have brunch, or go to the coffee shop or wherever it is that they go and they have drinks and they sip tea or they sip coffee and they sit around and they congregate and talk about you. Clarify the three of cups. In a negative way. Because we have toxic, tox, toxicity, addiction, abusive relationship, and then meeting and talking. Friendship. Yeah, self-indulgence. They sit around and they talk about you to make themselves feel better. Oh my gosh. Self-worth, value, shadow work, appreciation. These people refuse to do the work. And they cannot believe that you, how dare you do the work. Some of y'all, some, some of them may really, like I said, low-key look up to you, or they may even have a crush on you, too. Somebody here has a crush on you. I feel like it took you some time to heal from this. You knew this. That's why you separated yourself from this group. It took you a long time to heal from this, though. Hmm. Okay. 
What else does the collective need to know about this whole situation? You put a mirror, you doing this work and you growing is actually helping other people see themselves. The, a mirror is being held up to their face, whether you intentionally did this or not. Okay. A mirror is being placed up to these people's faces. Now, whether or not they choose to make the right decision to do the shadow work, to do the healing, you know, to, to do, take the time to be in the self-reflection, which I don't think that they do. I don't know if they will, maybe somebody will, but they definitely didn't want you to be in this self-reflection work. But because this this uh, hermit is here in reverse with the eight of swords, they wanted you to be stuck or this is them stuck. They need to do this mirroring work. They need, now again, for some of y'all, this is a love connection and this is a partner that you were with. That's like, how dare you not put up with my shit anymore and move on from me. And they're gossiping to other people, defaming your name. Yeah, look at this. Bottom of the deck. I'm telling you, there's a masculine and a, a couple couple other people involved in this situation. This says karmics, third parties, haters, lesson learned. Yeah, you learned your lesson. You're healing. You're healing. Healing, self-care, introspection, meditation. You're not concerned about these people because you are glowing up. You have a new opportunity coming your way, a new job coming your way. You have a successful business. You're blooming. You're living in your purpose. Some of y'all are about to find a new relationship here. Or you're getting engaged. You're getting married and nobody wants to. Yeah. And these people are paranoid as fuck and they're watching you glow up. These people, look at this. I'm just pulling off the, the oh, I cannot make this up. These people are salter, salty, they're bitter, bitter, they're angry. Somebody don't even want me to tell you this because now I'm like skipping over my words. They're salty. These people are greedy. They will do anything by any means necessary other than do the actual work and become the hermit. And be in this self-reflection judgment energy. They were very inconsiderate of you, but they were in this salty ass energy. I'm going to just tap out of this. You can be dealing with any sign. I'm not sure what I'm going to call it other than hating ass people. I don't know, but <laughs> just hit the like button. I love y'all. Subscribe to the channel if you're new here. I love you. Namaste. See you later. Bye.